How you doing? Welcome back to the show. I was just mucking around playing some Exodus riffs and dialing some tones in. And I think I've just come across the coolest Marshall bass tone I've ever come up with. And honestly, I just had to tell someone. I'm too excited. I have to sh share it. But essentially, it's a pretty simple tone. It's just using the red channel and the Marshall DSL-20H. And I know a few of you, just quickly, I'll talk about it. In the past, I have had a JCM-2000 DSL and the actual face plate and everything was a little bit different and the gain stages and how they were laid out was different. And so the modern day DSLs, the 40 and the 100, are different to the 20H. And I think just the gain stage is slightly different as well. I think this is trying to blend the red and the boosted red on those two, but whatever it is, this is just, I think it's a unique beast apart from those two. I, there's nothing wrong with them by any means, but this, to me, it's got a better tone than the old DSL that I had. I just really like the gain on this. I've left the settings exactly the same as I had them the other day with the resonance and the bass really high. The mids are boosted a little. The gain's just moderate, like right at lunchtime, and there's no reverb, and the volume's about two. And I find when I'm playing some really articulate sort of style metal riffs and I'm really working on that low end, as you turn this amp up, it does sound better. It sounds better for like generic sort of rock, like Iron Maiden sort of tones and things as you really crank it and you need those tubes to work. But for articulate style metal riffs, I find the best volumes around like the two or three, like at lower volumes that are good for the bedroom. But anyway, oh, the guitar, I'm using my Charvel SoCal with the AMG loaded 81 in the bridge. And that's going through the front end to the mud killer where I've got the pre-gain to nothing. The tone is on neutral, the post gain's on full. And I've just got the mud control just sort of working in there just so it doesn't take out too much of that bass frequencies, but it's not flabby. It's just so cool the way that works. And that's going into the noise suppressor NS2, which is working in the four cable method, quietening the effects loop as well as the front, because in the effects loop, I've got the PMEQ from Master FX. And I don't think I've done a video on this showing how cool it sounds through the DSL. But just the way that this EQ works, and it's just designed just to take out a little bump in those mid frequencies. You can really focus in on bass frequencies with this and just get a super heavy but crisp bottom end, which is just so cool. And for the top end on this EQ, it's a high shell filter. It's not a generic sort of curve style thing that you find on most EQs. And so it just lets all those frequencies out and turns the Marshall into like a fireball. Like it's just really good. I think it, it works just really well with the Marshall as they've got that inherent sort of uh, like a lion roar. You know, the boogies have a bark and these have like a roar. And just that fireball top end on that EQ working through the effects loop just really, it just captures that roar and just really pushes it. And so you end up with this, it's a kraken. It's a kraken of an amp now. And anyway, that's the whole gear that I've run through. You've seen all the pictures. I'll just play some riffs. And the bottom end on that tone is just absolutely massive. I think it's right on the verge of being a little tiny bit loose. But what I'll do now, I'll just back off the mud control on the mud killer. Just let some of those low frequencies come through to the point where I think it's a little bit farty. And then we'll just bring it back in just to tighten things back up again. It's just so cool. <laughs> Thank you. 
I think you can hear exactly why I'm in love with this tone. It's just so basic and simple, but it's just pushing the right frequencies in the right places. The PMEQ, it's just got, uh, it's very subtle I find. You can just sort of work on the frequencies that you want and it doesn't transform the amp too much. It sort of retains almost like the way a good overdrive just sort of retains that amp nuance. This EQ does exactly the same thing. Whereas other EQs are very overpowering and you don't even know what amp you're using by the end of it. But this one, it's just, it's everything's working really well and it's just a really rich tone. There's plenty of mids going on, plenty of low end. The treble's not too abrasive, but it's just this crunchy machine. <laughs> God, that is epic. Uh, again, sorry, I forgot to say, I'm going through the Two Notes Torpedo Captor X straight into the audio interface and through Logic. And in the Captor X, again, I'm using that preset that's simulating the 1936V cabinet here, just with a single SM57, like a, an inch or two off the dust cap. In the software, I think it's about 30% just off the dust cap for a Marshall. It says Marshall 412, but by the time that I just sort of A and B'd it and worked with SM57 in front of this one, it was a very close sounding amp to that one just in the software. So the presets are always in the description below for all the presets and everything that I use on this channel. But this tone is just so cool though. I'm just having a ball playing along with these riffs, but I'm just gonna keep going. But until next time guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Coolest tone ever, I'll stand by it. Take care, I'll see you next time, bye. <laughs>